Do you have the world's meanest mom or dad? Does it seem like they are intentionally trying to ruin your life? And want to give them a taste of your own medicine? Then stop whining about it and let us take care of them for you. We guarantee the best ways to get even. For only $69.99, you can make their worst nightmares come true. Let us help you get the perfect revenge. I was still fuming from my earlier fight with my mom when the pop-up ad appeared while I was browsing Facebook. Without giving it too much thought, I started moving my mouse over to close it. And then I remember the last thing my mom had said during our fight. I don't care what you want, Chelsea. You don't get to choose until you are grown and out of my house. Deal with it. What gives her the right to just decide everything for me? I thought. I'm 16 years old. I'm old enough to decide for myself if I'm ready to date. It's not fair. They let Kyle take girls out on dates and he's only a year older than me. Unconsciously, I started moving the mouse to the link on the ad. I knew that it was dumb. I knew that it was probably just going to rip me off and nothing would actually happen to my mom. But I was furious and I didn't care at that moment. I clicked the link, pressing down far harder than I needed to in my anger. Instead of taking me to a website, another screen popped up asking me for a credit card information. I hesitated putting it in. She deserves to have her info stolen anyways. Maybe it'll teach her a lesson about how unfair she's been. I quickly put in my mom's credit card info. Within seconds of hitting submit, I received an email from an unknown sender. There are no words in the email, just the title and an attachment. I opened it up and I found a Word document with several questions about which parent I wanted revenge on. The questions were pretty standard. Name, date of birth, place of employment, etc. I filled it out and I sent it back. A few minutes later, I received another email. Your order has been processed. Expect initial delivery within 24 hours. Further deliveries will arrive within the next 2-4 to four business days. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope that you enjoy the service. The next morning, I had completely forgotten about the ad. Halfway through my shower, I remembered placing the very odd order. I wondered what would be delivered. It would probably be a box of dog shit or something equally juvenile. Hopefully it'll ruin her day, like she ruined my weekend plans. Imagining my mom's day being ruined by stupid deliveries brought a smile to my face. When I got out of the shower, I realized that I was running late, so I hurried to get ready and I left for school. That afternoon, I came home to my parents having an awful fight. I could hear my mom screaming from outside, but I could not make out what she was saying. As I walked in the door, I noticed several suitcases lined up near the front door. They didn't seem to hear me come in. And the last thing I wanted to do was draw any attention. I couldn't get to my room without walking by them, so I just stood in the front hallway by the suitcases. Don't talk about her like that, my dad yelled. It shocked me to hear him yell, because he hardly ever raised his voice. You're destroying our family for a 19-year-old stripper named Candy. I'll call her whatever I damn well please. My mom yelled back at him. A 19-year-old stripper. I was hit with a sudden and overwhelming urge to vomit as it dawned on me, exactly what my parents were talking about. Dad cheated. He cheated on mom. I couldn't listen anymore. Crying, I ran out of the door, slamming it shut behind me. I got in my car and I just sat there, unable to move. My mom came running out of the door not long after. She saw me sitting in the car and she climbed into the passenger seat. Neither of us said a word, 
And we just sat in silence then. We watched as my dad loaded the suitcases into his car. He wouldn't even look at me as he drove by. I reached over, grabbed my mom's hand, and I gave it a squeeze, hoping that she would find it reassuring. She gave me a smile that didn't quite reach her eyes and squeezed my hand back. We'll be okay, sweetie. I promise. Even though I didn't believe her, I nodded. The house looked the same from the outside, but I knew that it would never feel the same again. Mom got out of the car and waited for me on the porch. Reluctantly, I followed her inside. I found myself staring at the spot in the hallway where Dad's suitcases were just a few minutes before, and I began to tear up. My mom quickly rushed over to me and hugged me tight. The rest of the day went by in a blur, and I was relieved when I could finally fall into my bed that night. I just wanted to end this crappy day. I was just about to lay down when I saw that I had an unopened email. Your first scheduled nightmare has been delivered. The next will be delivered in one to two business days. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope that you enjoy the service. I stared at my phone in disbelief as guilt washed over me. There's no possible way it's referring to dad leaving. You're being dumb. I shook my head and I closed the email. I stared at the ceiling and one last thought crossed my mind before I fell asleep. What does it mean by next delivery? The next day, I felt uneasy all through school. There were several times I considered telling my mom about the ad and what I had ordered. She wouldn't believe me anyway. Why would she? I don't even believe it. When I got home, I decided to email the company and cancel my order, just to be on the safe side. My mom yelled for me from the living room to remind me that we needed to head out soon. Shit, I forgot. I promised that I would go with her to watch Kyle's game. I asked her to give me a few minutes while I changed and we left. Usually during these games, I would sit with my friends, but I decided to sit with my mom that night. We yelled and cheered and for those first three quarters of the game, it felt like things were normal. But then it happened. Someone on the defense made it through the line and they blindsided Kyle. He went down hard. As quarterback, we've gotten used to seeing him take hard hits like this, so I expected him to pop back up like he always did. But he didn't. Maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him. We waited in the stands for a little bit. But when Kyle still wasn't getting up, Mom went down to the sideline. I stayed in the stands and I watched her talk with the coach a moment before she went running out to Kyle. It didn't occur to me to follow her onto the field until I saw the ambulance making its way towards Kyle. At that moment, I realized how badly he must have been injured, and I went running to join my mom at his side. By the time I made it down to the field, the paramedics were loading him into the ambulance. Mom gave me the keys and told me to meet her at the hospital before she climbed in to ride with them. The hospital was 10 minutes away, and it was the longest 10 minutes of my life. I rode in silence, worrying about Kyle the whole way there. We might not have been super close, but he was my brother. When I arrived, Mom was crying in the waiting room. They had taken Kyle back for some tests, but they suspected that he might be paralyzed. I tried my best to comfort my Mom, but she was inconsolable. Eventually, she told me to go home and get some sleep. I tried to refuse, but she was adamant. The last thing I wanted to do was argue with her right then, so I did what she had asked. It wasn't until I got out of my room that I noticed that I had another email notification. A chill washed over me as I read it. 
Thank you for your message. Unfortunately, we do not accept returns or cancellations at this time. Your second scheduled nightmare has been delivered. The third and final will be delivered in one to two business days. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope you enjoy the service. I froze. What the actual hell is happening? They can't be talking about Kyle. No. I burst into tears. I ruined everything, and this really was all my fault. God, what did I do? I picked up my phone to call somebody, but I realized there was nobody to call. I couldn't call my mom right now. She had had enough to deal with. Dad hadn't answered any of my calls since he had left. None of my friends would believe me, and even if they did, they wouldn't be able to help. I'm on my own on this one. I took a deep breath and I clicked reply. I did my best to sound authoritative and intimidating while canceling the service again. I lied and told them that I was contacting the authorities in a hope that it would at least make them stop with their deliveries. Feeling proud of my very adult son in email, I clicked send and I settled in for bed. The next day, I went back to the hospital. Kyle was sleeping in his room. I told mom to go home and shower and change while I stayed with Kyle for a bit. It took a little bit of convincing, but she finally left after I promised to text her the moment that he woke up. She made it back before Kyle woke up. I had planned on staying at the hospital with her, but I changed my mind when Kyle woke up. I couldn't stand to watch him hear the news that he would never walk again, knowing that it was all my fault. When the rest of the day went by with nothing bad happening and no emails, I sighed in relief. Maybe the email worked and this was all over. Well, it's not all over. Dad is still missing in action and Kyle can't walk, but nothing else is going to happen. I took a shower and I went to bed, feeling reassured that it was over. I woke up the next day with the worst stomach ache ever. I ran half asleep to the bathroom, thinking that I needed to throw up, but I didn't. I just sat on the floor in front of the toilet waiting for it to come. After 30 minutes or so, I decided that it must have passed. I started to walk back to my room, but I stopped as I passed by the mirror. Slowly, I turned to face the mirror to double check what I thought I just saw. I found myself thinking familiar thoughts. That is not possible. I reached down and I touched my stomach, only to find it it felt the exact same way that it looked in the mirror. I couldn't have gained that much weight overnight. I look freaking pregnant. That's just not something that happens overnight. While my hand was still on my very large round belly, I felt something move. At first, I thought it was just my stomach making noises, but then it happened again. It felt almost as if somebody was kicking me from the inside. No, that's really not possible. I'm a virgin and I haven't even gone to second base yet with anybody. I stared at my stomach, trying to think of any other explanation for what I was seeing and feeling. A sick feeling grew in the pit of my stomach and I ran to my laptop. My fear was justified. There was another email. I am sorry that you are unsatisfied with the service that you have received so far. We have delivered exactly what you had ordered. All three of your mother's worst nightmares. No refunds or returns allowed. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope that you have enjoyed your service. Have a wonderful life. <laughs>